Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Among our top stories, Mount Pleasant Public Schools preparing for a legal fight over a girl's haircut. The district facing a million-dollar lawsuit filed by the father of Journey Hoffmeyer, whose hair was cut twice in March at school, once by a classmate and another time by a staff member, prompting an apology from school officials. The district says it has not yet received the complaint, but calls the allegations baseless and says it will aggressively defend itself in court. Still unfolding, the investigation into razor blades found scattered in the mulch at a Monitor Township Park. Police say the dangerous objects were in the kids' play area. At this time, they don't know if they were accidentally or intentionally left there. Police have combed the park with a large magnet and metal detector. The township wants everyone to be cautious. Police in Genesee County's Argentine Township are also investigating after a man died in a fiery crash. It happened just after midnight near Ray and Seymour Roads. Police say the vehicle crashed and hit a tree. When crews arrived, they found the vehicle engulfed in flames. The driver was a 34-year-old Henderson man. He died at the scene. And now here's Brian with your forecast. Thanks very much, David. Heading into this final weekend of summer, as far as weather goes for a weekend, tough to get much better than this. I would just venture to say it's going to be perfect out there this weekend. The only blemish comes tonight, but it's going to be entirely an overnight thing. So here's what I'm talking about. We had a cold front coming in from across Lake Michigan tonight that's going to start sweeping into the area between about 9 p.m. and midnight. As it comes through, you see there between 9 and midnight, there will be the chance for a few spotty showers and maybe even a few more as we head on into the overnight period closer to tomorrow morning. Can't even rule out an isolated thunderstorm or two here, but more importantly, these are going to be nuisance showers or nuisance low grade thunderstorms at the absolute worst. And then they're gone by the time we're getting up first thing on our Saturday morning. Nine o'clock, pretty much everybody is back over to mostly sunny skies. And then this is a fun hour by hour forecast. Always great when you can have a little ride like this. We go from midday sunny skies, pure sunshine into the three o'clock hour, pure sunshine into dinner time on Saturday evening. Purely clear skies all Saturday night into Sunday, and this is through the early part of Sunday afternoon. Just wall to wall sunshine during the day, crystal clear skies at night and comfortable temperatures all throughout. It will be increasingly cool though as we head into tonight with the cold front working itself uh, through the area. Folks around say the tri cities and into the thumb, you stand a better uh, likelihood of seeing low temperatures only falling to the middle and upper 50s where folks farther northwest like West Branch and Houghton Lake where that front comes through sooner, you're likely to see your temperatures dip closer to the 40s by daybreak because that cold air will cooler air I should say will start to reach you sooner and your skies will clear out more quickly as well. And then that's going to help keep our temperatures on the mild side as we actually head into our Saturday, not looking like the hot weekend that we were originally expecting earlier on in the week. It's looking like this cold front will have a bit more oomph to it in terms of the temperature change behind it. So we'll see mostly uh, high temperatures in the low 70s from the Tri Cities and Flint on inland, but closer to Lake Huron tomorrow. May see a few spots linger in the upper 60s, but I just think with the lake water still running warmer at this point in the season, you'll probably still punch into the low 70s even along the lake shore. But regardless, perfect weather across the board. 56, the overnight low for tonight, increasing clouds and that chance for a passing shower or brief thunderstorm overnight, but then nothing to worry about for tomorrow. 72 the high, mostly sunny, mild and beautiful to kick off the weekend, and we're just going to keep that going all weekend long. First one, five, seven day forecast, a sunny Sunday with a high around 78. Final two days of summer on Monday and Tuesday, also not quite looking to be as hot, but we're likely to see some summer storms for the final day of the season on Tuesday, high of 78 degrees. But then as soon as we flip the season over to fall, beginning on Wednesday and carrying on into Thursday and Friday, the weather takes note. Chance for a few lake effect showers on Friday, high of 65, and then staying with highs in the 60s on Thursday and Friday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.